Hi chat. How are you guys today? Oh, I forgot I lowered my mic. That's why it's being wonky. Hold on. I think, yeah, I think that's better. Maybe that's a bit too high. I have no idea. Uh, but welcome. Good. I am doing great. I am doing fantastic. I just had myself a bit of pizza. And I bought myself a succulent. I got a succulent. Uh, somebody was selling them for like five dollars, five to ten dollars, and so I got myself a little five dollar one, and it's really cute. It's really cute. So, a succulent? You don't know what a succulent is? Okay. So, a succulent is a little type of plant that right now is pretty popular to have like as a desk plant or that you keep them on windowsills. Um, they're really small. And they're really aesthetically pleasing because they have such a distinct pattern with each one of them. Um, and they're they're just really nice to have, in my opinion at least. And so I I used to have some before, uh, but then I made the mistake of like when I was going away from home for like a bit for a couple weeks, uh, to leave them in the care of my siblings, and they kind of died. And so I haven't been able to get new ones um, because a lot of stuff was going on, right? But I, um, what's it called? Oh no, it was winter. Winter had come and so it was not ideal to get them. Plus most people weren't selling them. Um, and so now that, you know, warmer temperatures are back up, more people are selling them. And so I got myself one for $5. And so hopefully now I can just take care of it nonstop. So that way it doesn't die on me. Because <laughs> I don't want another plant to die. And so yeah, so I got myself a little succulent. And it came in a little like glass container. Right? So then it's easier to see if the soil is still like damp or not. Or if it's still wet. Uh, so that way I can take good care of it now. And there's that. But yeah, oh my god, guys, it's- it is Wednesday. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Um, but, oh, three days. Three days till the project. Which is not really a secret anymore. I don't know why I'm trying to keep it a secret. But, there is a- what's it called? There's a- SMP, I know I joined way too many SMPs, but there's a new SMP, right, called the CSMP. Now, the CSMP is a, uh, it's inspired off of Quackity's QSMP, which is multilingual server, but the CSMP is targeted more towards uh, smaller creators. So, there's there's we got several uh english speaking streamers small streamers as well as uh spanish speaking streamers and we put them all together we're gonna put them together and it's it's gonna be something it's gonna be something i'll tell you that uh but now that means i get to make bilingual content which i've been wanting to make for a while and so i am I'm really excited because oh my god and then uh, dang no French uh, not that I know of yet I don't know if that's something that that's gonna be added if French players are gonna be added um, but yeah you can there's updates accounts as well now on Twitter I think it's called I think it's just called CSMP updates um, that is Discord. That is not Twitter. That is Discord. Let me check. Yes, yeah, so CSMP update. Why does it say updated? Updated ES and then CSMP updates EN. So like English and Spanish. Ugh. It 
uh, what a zero zero day patch? I have no idea what what you just said. But yeah, so there's two accounts right now, one for English, one for Spanish. Um, and then we also just have, no, it, that's the one that just got rebranded. So CSMP updates in English and it shows the full roster of who's playing as well as like a countdown. Uh, joke that French people be added in zero day patch. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I mean, we can't really add them right now. It's, we already have like a good batch of people. But however, from my understanding is that we're gonna have like potentially more. I don't know when. I don't exactly know when. I was not told. So we'll just have to figure out and see. Um, but yeah, for the majority, we have, I think, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So, like 26 players at the moment that are starting off. So, it's a lot of people that you could watch. Uh, not everybody's gonna be on. I know some of them are gonna be joining, uh, like a couple days late, maybe a week late. I don't remember when, but yeah, most of us are gonna be on starting Saturday this Saturday, not the 20th. I know every single event this month is on the 20th, every single Minecraft event. Uh, but ours is on this Saturday, which is the 13th, the 13th. Um, the 13th and then PST time, it's at 11, EST, it's at two. So keep an eye out for that. I am very much excited. And oh my god. Cause I don't get I don't really get the chance to talk to many people in Spanish except for maybe like family. But I really wanna talk with more people around my age to like make friends in Spanish. So this is this is gonna be cool. And then I get to teach people Spanish too. But that is not what we're here for today. Today, we're here for um, back to our life, our life beginning and, and always. Beginning and always, yes. We, we have found, we have memorized, perhaps, I think. I have no idea, word ramble. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're getting back into this. We're, we're getting back into this game because it is fun. It is fun, and we're just gonna continue. Um, load. Where am I? This one. Yes. And so, uh, last stream I gave you guys the choice to like pick one of these four. I was gonna say Fireflies for last just because it's it just seems really nice. Uh, like a nice way to end the summer. Is this a romance? Uh, it can be. From what I understood, it can be. Basically, um, what's it called? You, you live in like a beach town and this new kid moves in across the street and so his dad kind of like bribed you to become their friend. And so it can lead to romance or it can just be friendship. But this is like a summer kind of thing, I guess, in this, what they call this moment section. Um, it lasts throughout a summer. And so these are different events that can happen or that you can play. Um, and then last stream, it was chosen that we were going to do long day. The fireflies one I wanted to save, and the long day one is the one that I want that was chosen last stream. And so we're we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. But yes, it is technically considered a dating sim, uh, and that is because I have never played a dating sim, hence why we're playing it. All right. Before we continue, I'm gonna get some water because otherwise, 
My throat's gonna hurt, and my vocal cords do not last long. I already have a bunch of emotes as well for you guys. I'm having them prepared. I'm almost done. So by the time I hit affiliate, then you guys can have all those beautiful emotes as well as hydrate. Um, so you can just spam that in the future. So, all right. It was another scorching summer day, the kind where no sooner had you finished one cup of water, you were already filling it up again. Everyone else had something on. Yeah, everyone else had something on. So that afternoon, it was just you and, and Shiloh. This didn't happen much, especially since Cove have, had arrived. I can talk. Wow. Without Lizzie around, Shiloh looked to you for all the answers. It made you feel... Nothing really. Pleased? Frustrated? Um... Not pleased. If he's looking to me for all the answers... Probably either frustrated or nothing really. It depends on how much. Probably frustrated. I'm eight, year I'm eight years old in this game. I'd probably be frustrated. Uh, he was always wanting to hear what you thought instead of giving his own opinion and expected you to come up with the plans. It was hard work, especially on such a hot day. That is true. You try making the plans for everybody or for like one person when they can probably make some of their own plans. It's, it's frustrating. Uh, you drained yet another drink and frowned at the empty vessel. Your thirst was gone, but you still craved something icy cold and refreshing. Something sweet. Something like a popsicle ice cream cone or an ice cream sandwich. Ice cream sandwiches aren't- Yeah, I'm eight years old in this game. Uh, right now. Hence- hence why I said it can be romance. You grow up with these people. You start as a child, and you go through events, and then you grow up with people. So it's like, you, you got the story, you got the plot first, and then you kind of just watch it develop, or you develop it yourself. Um, ice cream sandwiches are not refreshing, I'm sorry. The only thing refreshing about the ice cream sandwich is the ice cream. The sandwich on a hot day will stick to the top of your mouth, and that is, there, there's nothing fun about that. Uh, ice cream cone. Ice cream cone is nice, but it kind of depends. A popsicle, an ice cream cone. What do you, do you like? Do you like ice cream sandwiches? Ice cream sandwich for the win. No, me personally. Me personally, I am not an ice cream sandwich type of person. It's just, it sticks to your mouth, to the top of your mouth, and it's really hard to get off, especially if it's hot outside. So that is, that is a no for me. Ice cream cone or a popsicle, I feel like if you want something cold, right, and something that'll make you feel more refreshing, a popsicle is the way to go, though it is going to melt quicker, but it is more refreshing, because an ice cream cone is like... Well, actually, it depends on what type of popsicle you get. But an ice cream cone typically would get a lot stickier than a popsicle. So I'm gonna go with popsicle. You wanted something fruity and brightly colored. Ah, yes, because I am a child who is attracted to bright colors and shimmering lights and gets distracted very easily. Actually, no, I'm just autistic, so. <laughs> Marbo! Hi, Marbo! Life's going great, man. Life's going great. I am getting a- I want a popsicle in-game. I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but I want a popsicle in-game. Uh, there is nothing like that to be found at home. God damn it. You knew that without needing to look. Your moms didn't keep sweets in the house. We don't have- why don't we have sweets in the house? What kind of household is this? Why don't- why, there's no sweets? You gonna tell me there's no- there's no recess cups? If there's no recess cups in this house, I am going to riot. Uh, outside there were plenty of places where such goodies could be obtained, but they were shops and demanded payment in exchange for their products. Ah yes, because that is how the economy works. 
<laughs> yes, no, I am not gonna ask Shiloh for help. If Shiloh can't form their own opinion, I'm not gonna ask them for help. Also, Marvel, how are you doing? I forgot to ask that. It was on my mind and I was just like, uh, let, let me ask Marvel how they're doing and I completely forgot. Marvel, how are you? <laughs> what? Shiloh, Shiloh can't form their own opinion? What are you talking about? Shiloh, Shiloh's never been able to form their own opinion in this entire series so far. Um... I don't know, depends. I probably would just sigh. <laughs> Force him, no. Cause he's, I know he's not gonna give, it's, it's like one of those times where you've tried several times and they just still don't catch on and they don't do it. And so you just kind of like give up and it's like, okay, if you're not gonna do it, just don't, sure. All right, fine then. Uh, I'm probably just gonna sigh. It's too hot. I want a popsicle. I am exasperated. I don't know if that's a word, but I'm pretty sure it's a word. As much as you really want that treat, it wasn't going to happen. Damn. What's wrong? I want a popsicle. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guessed it. Guys, I'm secretly eight. No, I'm kidding. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I have the mentality of an eight-year-old. I have tapped into that character. Shiloh, who had been draped over the sofa, perked up. Do you have some? Do you, do you have some at your house? Tell me. Tell me right now that you have some. That sounds good. Yes. Do you have some? We don't have any here, and I don't have any money. Oh, let me check if I have any. Please, wait. Why are you checking your backpack for a popsicle? Fight the kid for it? I will. But if he's checking his backpack, it's most likely already melted. And I don't want a melted <laughs> popsicle. Shiloh rummaged in his backpack and proudly produced an assortment of coins plus one stray button. Listen, I mean, we could just, we could just take... Maybe he brought some. Listen, man, what if we just take the coins and go buy one? We could just take the coins. I'm kidding. I'm not going to be that... that... No. You set the button aside and counted the coins in neat piles. Just over a dollar, you announced this to Shiloh. He had almost certainly come to the same conclusion, but he'd been watching you expectantly. Uh... It's not enough. It's a start. We think positively. Uh, but that's not fun. Yeah, it's not fun. I won't take his money. Uh, Shiloh beamed at you. We'll need to find some more. Where are we gonna find more money? Just walk around the streets to see if we find any more coins. Uh, give kid drum and say it's not enough. Look at this ray of sunshine. You want me to diminish his smile? I know he can't formulate his own opinions, and he's quite literally a follower for everything, but I'm not gonna destroy this kid's spirit. Not yet. Not yet. Maybe down the line, but not yet. Okay. The two of you lifted couch cushions, uh, stuck tiny hands down down deep crevices in the sofa and under furniture and scoured the back of drawers. Most of what you found was useless or gross. Bent paper clips, fluffy wisps of dust, or sandy crumbs. But every so often, one of you would strike silver or bronze and add it to the growing pile of coins. Your mind wandered uh, to the 20... $20 bill tucked away in your room. It was, it was enough for you and Shiloh to get whatever you wanted and more, but you didn't take it out. It was too special to hand over full freely. Uh, $20 is what I was bribed with to become Cove's friend. Cove is um, the kid who moved in across the street. Uh, besides, Shiloh would be curious about where it came from and might even mention your wealth to Lizzie. The exchange had to be a secret. That is true. Dusty and disheveled uh, from checking every room and squinting into every tiny nook, 
The two of you finished bullying your fines. Shiloh held his breath as you counted the coins once again. Okay, what's the economy like right now? How much is a popsicle? How much are we talking? Two dollars fifty-three cents and two buttons. Okay, but two dollars... We could probably buy two lollipops with that. Uh, not even gonna say it. It was stolen. SMH, my head. What was stolen? The twenty dollars? The twenty dollars were not stolen. I contemplated it. I was gonna grab the money and run because the his dad was just kind of sitting in the front of our house as I was arriving home. The twenty. No, the like. It was the weirdest exchange ever because it had just introduced me to this random guy who was sitting on the front steps of my house that I was just like arriving home. I had never met this man and he's just like, hey, you want to become friends with my son? And I was like, I, I don't know you. I really don't know who you are. <laughs> and he's just like, I'll give you 20 bucks for it. And I'm like, oh. Ooh, for me? 20 bucks for me? Yeah, it was a very terrifying moment. He was attractive, but like that doesn't that doesn't make it less weird. But yeah, he he was just standing or not standing, but like sitting in front of our house. Proceeded to give me a 20. It's like, I'll give you $20 if you become friends with my son. He's, he was supposedly quote-unquote looking for his son, but he was just sitting there and my parents weren't even home so like I really don't know what was going on It was bizarre. I don't trust that man with my life ever Uh, Okay, two dollars and fifty three cents still that I feel like that's a good amount of money for two popsicles you didn't know when the second button had decided to join the party, but you were too pleased with your successful haul to throw it out. Um. Is that enough? Uh, I'd say it is. You figured he knew the answer without looking to you for confirmation, but the thrill of your success and the reward that would follow cancelled out any other feelings you might have had about that. Yeah! Heck yeah! I'm gonna- uh, that's- that's my cursing as an eight-year-old. It's just heck. Heck frick. That is the most I'm gonna curse right now. Heck yeah, let's get ourselves some popsicles. I don't- I haven't had a popsicle in a while. I told myself I was gonna have one a day. And then I just forgot. Like, I took it out. I took it out and I was like, alright, when I finish this other task that I was wor working on, I'm gonna eat it. And I took too long on the other task to the point that the popsicle melted, and so I had to stick it back in the fr in the freezer. Uh, you can now afford something at the shops. Just one thing, but that was infinitely better than none. Shiloh clapped his hands. Ooh, maybe we can get those like the twin popsicle ones where you have to like snap them in half. I called dibs on the bigger piece though. Yay! Uh, the two of you dashed outside. The promise of sugar. Uh, Boo boo buoyed, buoyed. I can. Is that how you pronounce that word? I never really learned how to pronounce that word. The promise of sugar buoyed you on to your destination, where, breathless but happy, you stared at the overwhelming number of options. Let's go. What's your guys's What's your guys's go-to popsicle? Or do you guys not like popsicles? Uh, you knew what you wanted, but it wasn't just you who had contributed the funds to get the treat. He seemed to notice your pause. Aren't you getting a popsicle? Uh, yes. But you also contributed, so you get one too. Uh, summer freeze Mountain Dew flavor thing. Yes, those are good. Those are good. Those are really good. Uh, I don't know why my mind went to the Baja Blast Mountain Dew Baja Blast freezes from Taco Bell. Those are good too. You can, you can never go wrong with Baja Blast. And I need more water because throat be acting up.
Alright, cool. Are you in a popsicle? Yes. Shiloh asked as though he was entirely separate from the decision, rather than someone with a stake in the outcome. He's too selfless. That's his problem. You're too selfless, and that is that is a huge problem for you. Do you mind? Am I gonna take all this money? I mean to be fair, we did find it in, in my house. So like Technically, it's still my money. You helped me find it, but it's still my money. <laughs> Shiloh cocked his head to the side. It was your idea. You should choose. Um, You went ahead and got what you wanted originally. Are you really sure it's okay? Uh, You try to get something you both wanted anyway. <laughs> take it and run. No, I'm not gonna take it and run. Uh, I'm gonna try and get something we both wanted. Uh, it wasn't fair for you to be the only one to decide when he'd uh, been a main factor in, t in making this happen. Some of the money came directly from his backpack. That is true. I forgot he had money in his backpack. Just imagine what you could do with it. It's two dollars and fifty something cents. I can buy the popsicle I wanted, but that's pretty much it. What do you like? All of them. They're so good. Oh, I forgot you can't make decisions by yourself. God damn it. Just pick one. <laughs> tell me. Tell me what you want. I'm trying to be nice here, but you're kind of pushing it. <laughs> but what do you really like? Popsicles or ice creams? Which is your favorite? I need to know. Oh, it's so hard to pick. I don't- Just- Just pick one, goddammit! This is- This is a reminder as to why I am not nice to you. This is why I am very blunt with you. Because you cannot make a goddamn opinion. Frustrated, you cut to the heart of the matter. <laughs> you want me to choose? Yeah, okay. He's too nice for his own good. <laughs> that is slash neg. That is not pause. And that was that. You got the dessert you wanted originally and hope Shiloh would actually like it too. Sure. Okay. Wh okay. Better question yet. Why do these only come in pairs of two? Like, could we not get one, like two different kinds he gets a certain type and I get it and I get the one that I wanted like are, are these just sold in pairs and you can't choose one or the other plot sure yes because the story needs to keep going uh, finally the reward for all your hard work was in your hands eat it devour it right now uh, you sucked on the fruity popsicle you'd bought. The icy treat cooled you down perfectly, and the zesty flavor was refreshing. Those are good. I love popsicles. You held it out to Shiloh so he could take a turn. He shook his head. Wait, what? Oh! It's not two separate. We're sharing one. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. I wouldn't share my popsicle with this, with somebody else. Even if we knew each other and we were very close, I don't think I'd share my popsicle with a friend. That just seems really weird. You can finish it. Yeah, I I will. He didn't want any after everything he did to help get it. That was weird. What's even weird is that we're sharing one. <laughs> Love. I am sorry, but Shiloh is the one character that I. There goes my OBS. Oh. There went my OBS. Don't worry. It's fine. We're fine. Okay. 
Uh, I am not gonna include him. Uh, I don't know if I would hesitate. Mm. What happened? Hold on. My stream glitched out. Give me a second. Twitch, why do you forsake me? Hold on. Hold on. We good? Hello? Everything just kind of crashed for some reason. It's fine though. I think I think I got it back up and running. That was whack. Okay. Say yes. Can you can you hear me? Everything's fine. Yes. No. I can't tell. Tots. I'm going to take that as a yes. Okay. Well, I am... Mm, I'm gonna accept the offer just because I find it weird to share a popsicle. Uh, there was no point arguing. It was already melting under the rays of the sweltering summer sun. You eagerly tucked back in. The cold, sugary treat quenched in your ways that the water just couldn't reach. That is true. Two of you began to head back home as you ate. You were glad, too, to get the treat all to yourself. Only half wouldn't have been nearly as good. That is true. That is also very true. Sometimes it just don't cut. Half of it just don't cut it. Uh, even so, you couldn't help but wonder what Shiloh was thinking. I feel like there's no thoughts in his head. There are no thoughts. Uh, you walked side by side on the shore in silence. But, uh... But your thoughts kept drifting to the boy beside you. Why? Why didn't he speak up for himself? It's om it was almost as if Shiloh didn't know how to say how what he felt, or was too afraid to. Uh, you figured that was his problem and didn't care. <laughs> uh, are you scared of me? You thought that was kind of sad. Are we friends? No commentary? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hold on, I got this. should be working. I like how that's when stream elements decide to kick in. Nope. 
it should be working. I don't know why it's not. Hello? Hello? I don't know if it is or not. Gaslighting. I, God damn it! <laughs> Stop! You actually made me think that my mic wasn't working and I was trying to figure out everything. I was like, no, the settings, it's set to my mic. It shows that it's speaking. What's going on? God, no. <laughs> Dang, you're mean. Okay, we're gonna continue. That was, uh, you got me good. I'm not gonna lie. You got me good. I was thoroughly trying to figure out what went wrong. Man. Okay. <laughs> Are you scared of me? Are we friends? Um... Are you scared of me would probably be the better one to ask. Uh, yeah, okay. Shallow opened his eyes wide, seemingly caught off guard by the blunt question. I'm gonna be blunt. I don't care. Tell me, are, are you scared of me? Am, am I frightening to you? No way. But you don't tell me things. Like, what do you, what do you want to do or what treat we should get? That's not because I'm scared, it's because you have better ideas than I do. Are you insecure? Are you insecure? Unfortunately, yet this was yet an another thing you couldn't entirely believe Shiloh on. You hoped it was true and that he really did feel okay around you, though. <laughs> no clipping. No, nobody clipped it. I mean, you can if you want to. You're able to clip stuff, you know. Uh, Shiloh... Shiloh... Uh, Shiloh made you unsure about setting a label on the experience of spending the afternoon with just him. There had been good times, and there had been confusing ones. Uh, it says... You can't as a channel. It's okay. I'll probably get clips of it. So don't you don't you worry. I'll get clips. Uh, you were positive of one thing at least. The treat was delicious and that was nice. The sun was low on the horizon as you returned to your neighborhood. There you spotted two very, very familiar uh, figures up ahead. Lizzie and Cove. You opened your mouth to make your presence known to them, just as you saw the tears on Cove's face. What? What? You walk straight over, Shiloh at your heels. Wait, why is he sad? Why is he crying? Once there, you defended Cove, took a moment to make a joke? No. I'm not going to accuse Lizzie, but it carefully asked what happened. I'm not going to act, I'm not going to act rash. I'm not going to make, no, what, rash, rashly? Ra ra I don't know what the word is. I'm not going to make any rash decisions. I'm going to carefully ask what happened. That a time machine, the only way you were going to find out was by asking the witnesses. Uh, Lizzie might have done something, but she could have been, uh, but she could have been in the wrong place at the wrong time, or even come to Cove's aid. You wanted to hear the story. Yes. <laughs> no gaslighting. Please, no gaslighting. Cove, what happened? Oh, 
he got yelled at. He took a deep, steadying breath. Some grandparents got mad at me. Oh, the ones by the shops. Yeah, they're a pain. Oh, uh, sorry. Lizzie jerked her head in the direction of a nearby house. Your heart sunk. You knew exactly what had happened. Oh, no. Every year, the same mean old couple rented out the condo for the summer. You, Lizzie, and Shiloh knew to stay away from them, but Cove couldn't have. They're like that with everyone. Even your mom struggled to find anything nice to say about them, but the elderly pair particularly took offense to kids. Oh. It didn't matter if they were really nice like Cove. Yeah, Lizzie said. Uh, Lizzie drew herself up at that. She looked pointly in your direction. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. I was helping. <laughs> That's so cool. Is there anything I can do? No. No, I'm just gonna stay away. Or you could teach them a lesson. Lizzie, no. Lizzie, I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble. Please, let's not do anything reckless. There's a devilish glint in her eyes. Of course there is. What? You should ding-dong ditch them. Go ring the doorbell and run. It'll be great because they're so slow. They'll never catch you. But they're already mad at people. No, I don't want to follow in her footsteps. I don't want to be the one to get in trouble. That's dumb. I don't want to go near them ever again. You're just saying that because you're a... Chicken! Chat, I have a feeling he's not gonna let it slide. I don't think he's gonna let it slide. You won't, and if so, it'd be a cool vine. Cove glared, but didn't take the bait. Lizzie turned to you. Oh, he didn't take the bait? What? What? I, I also don't want to take the bait. Not a chicken, are you? Uh. <laughs> yeah, cluck cluck. <laughs> you thought they deserved worse. Oh, no. You'd rather just avoid them? Yeah, I'm just gonna say. Yeah, cluck cluck. Uh, she can't tease you about being a chicken if you are. In fact, a chicken. Hunched over, you folded your arms, sent four wings, and bat them up and down. <laughs> okay. For once, your sister seemed at a loss, but it didn't take long for her to regain her usual confidence. So you admit it. Yes, okay. You continue to flap your arm wings and the circle his sister clucking all the while. There's no shame in a chicken being a chicken. Yeah. What was that? Don't do that ever again, please. Uh, things are not going the way Lizzie expected. She fought against a laugh and looked for a way to restore her serious authority. Now, screw you, Lizzie. <laughs> you and Cobra both little chickens. Okay. And oh, he joined in. He joined in, my man, my man. Join me. We shall become chickens. Co folded his arms, though the one with the cast wasn't as tightly tucked down, and joined you in cheeping around. <laughs> uh, it was hard to cluck through the giggles that rose up when you saw him imitating a chicken. But you still both gave a first-class performance. Ah, yes. The door to the old couple's condo flung open to reveal one of the culprits behind Cove's tears. You froze, <laughs> wings raised. Guys, guys, run. Run. <laughs> Can't you let anyone have a bit of peace and quiet? He must not be a fan of theater or farm animals, as well as kids. That was the only explanation for his outbursts which was far louder than anything you and Cove had done. 
<laughs> Go on, beat it. It was distinctly unfair, but Cove's lips were trembling, and you thought it would be best to, to heed his command. Let's, yeah, let's, let's, let's go. <laughs> Lizzie took off with Shiloh, immediately trailing after her without as much of the, as a glance back in your direction. So much for your friendship. All right, well, bye, Shiloh. Uh, you waved your arm at Cove, summoning him to follow you, and ran after Lizzie. The old man's hollers propelled you all from the street to the sanctity of the hill. One, uh, only once you were safe did you notice the stitch in your chest and the ache in your legs. The stitch in my chest? Oh, like when you're out of breath. You flopped down, the blades of grass tickling your face. Lizzie, who had taken the lead in the end, um, was already lazing on the ground. The four of you took a moment to catch your breath and enjoy the feeling of cool, gla cool glass, cool grass against your skin. Cove. <laughs> hey, Cove. Cove lifted his head. Uh, I told you there were mean grandparents around here. Cove rolled his eyes, then decided this wasn't dismissive enough and rolled his whole body away from your sister. Lizzie chose to ignore his, his response and started chatting to Shiloh, who eagerly joined in the conversation. Um, in the back of your mind, you knew you'd, uh, you'd be second fiddle against to Shiloh once Lizzie came around. It always went like that. Uh, and it was fine, you thought. You still felt a little sad after how much time you spent together today. And it was always annoying. Um, it is annoying. But like, I mean, it kind of gives like takes Shiloh off my back. It's either this one or this one. Um, I'd say annoying, just because he clings to me so much, but then like dips the moment Lizzie's around. Uh, but you weren't going to make a fuss, especially after everything that's already happened. There were other things to attend to, anyway. Uh, you wriggled closer to Cove. He had calmed down for the most part and was inspecting a flower. His fingers pinched the stem and tilted the white petals toward him. Aww. That's a poppy! Cove glanced at you in acknowledgement, then back to the flower. And the type of poppies on this hill have the name White Linen Poppy. Linen poppy. Uh, Mom told me. He quirked a smile. That's funny. He ran a finger around the edge of the petals. It doesn't feel like cloth. You'd need a lot of them to make anything. He nodded and released the delicate plant. Evaluation complete. This is my favorite kind of flower, but I didn't know what it was called. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, Jesus, that's a lot of options. Uh, I can type my own answer. I like all flowers. I don't care about flowers. I only know what mom tells me. No. It's mine too. I like roses. Buttercups are great. Snapdragons, hibiscus, peonies. Sunflowers, tulips, orchids. I like all flowers. I like all flowers. I like learning about them is the thing. Yeah, I, I really like flowers. I like learning about them. Like, uh, it's too hard to pick just one. Sorry, flowers. He chuckled. Oh. What? You're so nice. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, you moved onto your back with a small smile and looked at the darkening sky. The blanket of clouds reminded you of a thick throw you curled under on cold, rainy days. You wondered if the clouds could be as soft. A lot of pop-ups. Well, they're all different responses. They're just all different types of flowers. 
They lazily floated on by, splitting from each other, merging and morphing into new shapes. Uh, so a dolphin, a car, an alpaca, smiley face, <laughs> I saw cloud shapes. Uh, dolphin. I see a dolphin. I saw a dolphin leaping through the sky. You nudged Cove and pointed to it. Look, a dolphin! Cove joined you in gazing skywards. Yeah, I see it. Really? Mm. No, but I like dolphins. Aw, <laughs> hey! He chuckled at your reaction. Uh, all the sun's light faded from the sky, and the moon rose higher. Lizzie got to her feet, dusting strands of grass from her bare legs, and surveyed her surroundings. The ocean, visible from the crest of the hill, beckoned with every sweep of the tide. Let's go to the beach! Let's go to the beach, each what they're gonna say. Uh, there was no argument from the other two. Shiloh was still Shiloh, and Cove would never say no to going to the shore. He was a child of the sea. You, I don't know. Mm, I would want to go there too. You make a little fire. I mean, we're too young to make fi to make a fire, but you know. So you eagerly join the others in descending the hill down to the water. You stepped onto the sand for the second time that day, but it felt different at night. A lot colder. Uh, the beach was nearly quiet at this hour. Abandoned sand castles and footsteps in the sand, too big to belong to any of you. Um, were the only indication of how busy it had been only hours earlier. The four of you kicked shoes off and removed socks and walked along the water's edge. The waves tickled your feet. I wonder, uh, I wonder what would happen if you tried to take a bath in the ocean with shampoo and everything. That wouldn't be a good idea. There's a lot of salt in the ocean. Uh, that would be bad for the fish. <sighs> oh god, what did I skip? Jeez. I didn't say anyone would do it. Jeez, you don't have to be serious about everything. <sighs> You're the one who asked what would happen. That is what would happen. It hurt the fishes. Uh. <laughs> uh, I like bubble bats at home. They're a lot of fun. <laughs> God damn it, Shiloh! <laughs> Me too. Bubble bats are luxurious. No. Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. Uh, you never heard Lizzie use that word before. Luxurious. It's a big word. It's a big boy word. Did I skip one? Uh, mommy loves to have bubbles in her bath. She'll turn the lights off and have candles. I'm gonna do that next time. Alright, fine. Uh, hey, when's your mom coming to pick you up anyway? Not for a while. She's busy. Uh, what about your dad? How come you never talk about him? Nobody does. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Don't you know you're not supposed to ask something like that? Why would somebody want to talk about something they never talk about? Does, does he not have a dad? He doesn't have a dad. You kept your eyes on the ground, watching your toes get swallowed up by waves. Even if Shiloh never seemed upset when the topic came up, it made you feel awkward for just having both of your moms. I don't think he has a dad. It's okay. I'm like Lizzie and Goldfish. I don't have a dad. Um, but I don't have two moms. I just have one. She's really great. Oof. Oh, sorry. I only have one now, too. My mom isn't here. She's back home. It's just my dad and me. Sorry. Uh, I never had a dad or anything, so I don't feel bad. So I don't feel bad. <laughs> I'm just really sad that your mom is gone. Cove nodded. Oh. See, they bonded. They're bonding over traumas. It's what we do. Uh, you joked about Shiloh's mom getting to- No, I'm not gonna do- <laughs> that my god even if they were all different 
Uh, even if they're all different, our parents are good in their own ways. Yes. Yeah. Cove didn't muster a response. You don't think he truly disagreed, though. The silence broke with a splash as Lizzie kicked in your direction. Cold water and soda and sa sand splattered against your legs. Lizzie giggled, foot still outstretched from the kick. Cove joined in, striking the incoming waves to make a splash of his own. Shiloh scurried out of Cove's spray zone with a grin. <laughs> Wait, what does retaliated mean? Made a run for it? Retaliate. Retaliate is that you do it back, isn't it? I think it's that you do it back. Use your foot to smack the water pooling around you, sending an arc of sea foam spraying back at your sister. <laughs> you laughed as she sputtered. Some of the salty sea water having landed in her mouth, she spat it at she spat it out. Yes. Suffer. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Yuck. Lizzie chased you, instant intent on revenge. You dashed up and down the coast, taking in turns uh, to be the predator and the prey as well as joining forces to take down Shiloh or Cove. Alliances were silently forged and wordlessly broken. <laughs> this is a good time. I'm, I'm gonna sadly have to end it here, but we'll continue on um, next time. Cause this is just a wholesome moment and I kinda wanna leave it here. But yeah, hope you guys had a lot of fun I know I'm not that good at reading, but I still try my best. But anyways, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.